Hello. I said a few days ago that Space Engineers is an art project game where you build art project ships, and that's true, but it sounds a lot more dismissive than I intended it to sound, because I really love games that let you build whatever you want. I really love art project games. So uh, every time that there's a major patch, I do come back to Space Engineers and take a look around and see whether or not I can come up with something cool. Um, this particular patch was just grouping uh, commands, so I didn't I didn't actually build anything interesting with it, but I did build something that's kind of fun to look around. So, uh, one of the things that people do a lot of is they embed all of their engines inside their ship and they just kind of shrug their shoulders about how it's supposed to work physically. And I don't really like doing that, but I did like the idea of the rear engines being much more focused. So what I did is I created this system here, and while the engines are internal, the idea is that there is internal vectoring. So if you look, you can see that they shunt the fumes. And so it's my excuse as to why I can use uh, this kind of engine layering. But the end result actually looks pretty neat. And of course there's some slightly more standard controls for uh, uh, moving up, down, left, and right. Here, this is a heavy cargo ship, in case I haven't made that clear. It's not intended to get in, into any fights, so its defenses are just uh, some point defenses against meteorites. But it does have plenty of places for you to deposit cargo. Uh, it doesn't have any place to drop off cargo, though, because it's assumed that you're going to want to do that manually, but I could add one, it's not that hard. Um, there is one landing pad here, and technically speaking, the other side of the ship is identical when it comes to landing pads. But since the gravity is inverted, uh, your, your ship might be having an annoying time actually hanging on there uh, during any kind of acceleration. You can get in through here, which is just a, an armored uh, door. It, uh, I like these a little bit better these days. I'm not sure why. I just I kind of like the idea that there's no door to open and try and cram through. The doors always seem about four inches too small, and I can't ever get the approach right anyway. So when you enter in, you can see right away that this ship is not intended to defend against attack because the generators are all right here. Uh, you've got four heavy cargo containers and, of course, the nuclear generators. Um, so this is where you'd pilot the ship from, but there is a backup in case this one gets damaged or something. The crew quarters are over here to the right, and there's plenty of places to sit and, uh, and kibitz. And down here are some, uh, I don't know if you'd call them beds, something vaguely bed-like. Uh, that's one of the main downsides, I, ha I feel. Uh, Space Engineers is very much about art project ships, but there aren't a lot of art pieces you can put in there. I would really like Space Engineers if it had about a dozen more arbitrary 3D meshes that I could just stick in. Things like beds uh, and kitchens and stuff that wouldn't actually have any in-game effect, but would make my ship far more habitable. If you go upstairs, then this is where you can easily access the cargo containers. So this is where you would be able to drop stuff off. Uh, and you can see that there's plenty of space for the reactors and the Gatling turrets are all connected in. Um, and uh, they all work just fine. And if there were bullets, the Gatling turrets would automatically take them. You can also take a walk down the engine gantry. Hello, engines! Right now I'm kind of glad that there are no physics in this game, but the other thing that the game could do, besides going art project, is it could really ramp up the engineering half of the game and make it much more difficult and interesting to engineer the ships. Um, and that would live up to its name, but it doesn't, it doesn't seem terribly likely to happen. So here we've got some kind of secondary nook, maybe captain's quarters or something, and another place to control the ship from. So this is a fairly simple ship. I mean, it's not small, but that's only because it has a big job to do in terms of carrying stuff around. I, in the end, I like how it looks, and I like that you can actually pilot the big ship from the main view screen if you'd like. Um, but I like how it looks, and I like uh, a lot of it. And it's a very simple shape, but the shape works very well 
and it looks cool when you move it around. And you can see that it's pretty, it's got a little bit of get up and go for, for such a large, uh, heavy ship, and that's because of the cheesy layered, oh shit. I haven't copied this ship yet. Well, I better quit before the game auto-saves, so thank you, and I do like Space Engineers. I didn't mean to say otherwise. <laughs>